Hello everyone! Let's play some Wii demos, because why not? You know, why not? We haven't really looked at anything on the Wii, and I know that there are not many demos on the system, but I knew there were at least a, f a few on WiiWare, so I thought, hey, why not take a look at them? I haven't actually bought anything on WiiWare before, so I didn't know what was available. Fortunately, it makes it easy to search for uh, for demos. We can find them by genre. There's a section just for demos. All three of them. Yeah, I guess there's only three demos on WiiWare. I knew there weren't many, but I thought there might have been a little bit more than that. But whatever, three demos, that's what we're going to look at. Fast Racing League, Moto Heroes, and Paint Splash. So, uh, let's get started, I guess. Alright, so we're looking at Moto Heroes first. It's a game that require you, uh, requires you to hold the Wiimote in the sideways position. Which is something I don't usually like. I think this game does it okay, though. Let's start off with a tutorial, find out how to drive. So yeah, it's a racing game. So it seems that the, pu the purpose of this game is to do a lot of sweet flips. Unfortunately, that kind of slows you down. But there are a lot of opportunities for flips. Right, right there. Yeah, you uh, can control how you're leaning in your seat. And that will adjust how you are doing your sweet flips. It seems like a pretty fun game, actually. Controls feel pretty good, despite losing control much of the time. But it still seems pretty fun. Sort of the type of game you would play in multiplayer. Alright, so we can use items. Get that item, and use it to jump. And the challenge in the game is to uh, not fall backwards, fall upside down, which is not the easiest thing in, in the world to do. Yeah, it, it is pretty fun, actually. I wasn't really sure what to expect from uh, downloadable titles on the Wii. But this does seem pretty good. I don't know if it has online play. It might be mul uh, local multiplayer only. But it seems like a kind of a fun game that way. Kind of a game that you can screw uh, screw your friends over in. Okay, we're playing against a ghost. To see, I guess, how we're supposed to play it. Though I don't think the ghost really gets the game. Because it's not doing any sweet flips like that. Of course, the ghost tends to win more because it does not do flips. But I don't think there's much of a point to this game if you're not doing flips. Yeah, I lost momentum due to my flips, though. And I lost that one, so we have to try it again. It does require us to beat the ghost to advance. See, if we were trying to play seriously, and by seriously I mean not doing flips, we would be trying to use the D-pad to constantly w w correct for the, the weight of the driver, so as to prevent us from going upside down, like that. But what fun is that? All I really want to do is get a lot of momentum and flip as much as I can. Yeah, there we go. The ghost... Playing against the ghost does not replicate the multiplayer experience, though, because... Ghost is intangible, we can't touch him. 
we actually do play multiplayer though, or against other computer players aside from the ghost, we will have other players that can uh, get in our way, and that's when things get a bit uh, a bit more fun, I think. Some races require you to race backwards like this, which is kind of weird until you get used to it. Okay. Like I said, despite the floaty controls, or maybe because of them actually, it is... it does feel pretty good. Controls feel better than I actually, actually expected from this game. I'm not sure, it says it's a story adventure. I'm not sure what the story is, really. We're just basically learn, learning how to race in our buggy here. See, that computer's not doing any flips at all. And I can't abide by that. So yeah, it seems to me that this is this could actually be a pretty good uh, party game. You have a lot of people playing the Wii, which I guess happens sometimes in some people's houses. So I've heard that it is a system for for family fun, for the whole family to gather around. Oh, hold on, I did my flip too late. So this could be a, a good game for that kind of thing. And I lost. I'm not sure how long this demo is, actually. Because I was playing this before, it seemed like it goes on for a while. I didn't actually get to the point where it stopped me. But I think we're going to... That's no good. We're gonna go up to the part where at least we can play against some solid uh, opponents, so we can see what it looks like when people are just bumping into each other. Out of these levels, I'm spending more time on two wheels than four. It's easy to get in a position where you just stop moving at all. At that point, you shake the Wiimote to get back on your wheels. So it does give you an out if you're in a position where you really just shouldn't be able to get back up. As shaking the Wii will get you up out of any position. Hmm. Alright, let's see if we can play seriously and see if we can beat the ghost, even if that means not doing any sweet flips. Like oh, oh. sometime I think I might be overcompensating sometimes, which ends up with me doing things like that. Maybe I shouldn't press the D-pad at all at some points, because I'm okay. Because I'm constantly pressing left and right on the D-pad to uh, shift the driver's weight. That that might be what's leading to me flipping over so many times. All right, so, okay, Mighty Man Jump. We can't make this man jump without an item, that item up there. So we have to drive backwards, first of all, to get that. All right, and then use the item, and, uh, well, we did get some sweet flips, but we did not, yeah, we didn't make the man jump. We want to get that item, and be, yeah, uh, be careful here. A okay, boost. Hmm. I'm doing that at the wrong time, it seems. Alright, let's try... Okay, no, I 
Can't seem to stop myself from doing that. Yeah, you can see the computer, the ghost, he's getting all the air. Hmm, I think maybe I'm doing- maybe I'm using, uh, that item a bit too early. Maybe I have to do it right at the point of the jump. Ah, okay, that- that was no good. But I'll go down flipping. All right, let's see if we can do it this time. Okay, get the item. Or maybe I should try it now. No? Hmm. Not getting enough momentum before I hit the jump. I'm not sure if I can get that item without the floor breaking. Okay, wait, I think. Yes, that's it. Got it. Oh. Okay, but the computer made it first, even though I did make the jump. Okay, that seems pretty good so far. Yeah. Alright. Okay. Oh. Looked like that we got it at the same time, but it says I lost. Oh, I think I'm getting better at it anyway. Sweet flips. Yeah, look at all those flips. Eh. Can't resist the can't resist resist the lure of flips. If the game is letting me flip, I have to take it. Now that's an un unintentional flip. Okay. Did Okay. Did I did I beat I didn't I didn't think it looked like I beat him that time, but okay. Maybe the game just took pity on me. Alright, so let's see. I believe after that. Yeah, now we get some real opponents. No ghost. And things get a bit a uh, bit more frustrating. Because we sort of knock into each other and get in each other's way. The thrill of the race. No, oh, of course. So you can see uh, how this would basically go in multiplayer. Like the way, you know, a lot of people play uh, Super Mario Brothers Wii. New Super Mario Brothers Wii. Just basically as a, as a game, basically just to get in each other's way and to make people upset. This seems to work much on the same principle. Okay, yeah, by the time we get to the end here... Okay, yeah. I'm just gonna, just gonna sit there, why not? Yeah, you can't get past. It's a pretty great driving game, I'll tell you. But yeah, it is a lot of fun. If you can accept the floaty controls and the penchant to do all kinds of unintentional flips that can cost you a race. If you're the type of person that, that would make you would get mad from that, then you might not want to play this game. Because I can see how this would get very frustrating. Do people buy games on WiiWare? I don't know. I don't really have... 
any uh, experience when it comes to that. I never really hear of people talking about downloadable titles on the Wii. The only one I ever remember anyone talking about was Cave Story. But this seems like a pretty good game, yet I've never heard anyone ever talk about it. I know people are looking forward to La Mulana, if that actually ever comes out. Who knows if it will. But yeah, I never actually hear anyone talking about WiiWare as a val as a like a valid platform. Oh yeah, there I go. Oh wait, I got an item. I got a spring. Maybe I can. Okay, I wasted it. Good. That's good. Let's try that one more time. You know, I hear a lot of people talking about, you know, Xbox Live Arcade, PSN, and of course, downloadable titles don't need to tell you how much that exploded on the PC. The Wii never seemed to... really... have a lot of that going on. I mean, I know people were excited about the Virtual Console when the Wii first came out, but I mean, you know, that's just old games. Can only go so far selling games of the past, you know? It seems that uh, the DS and the 3DS have a more active uh, scene as far as that goes with DSiWare. I assume that probably Nintendo will have a more of a focus on this kind of thing when the Wii U comes out. Okay. Okay, that seems like a good place to end, uh, end Moto Heroes. So yeah, that's Moto Heroes. It's pretty fun if you get a bunch of people together to play the Wii. I think that this could be a pretty good game, but, uh... Yeah, I'm just just looking at that. No one can move. That's pretty great, I think. Moto Heroes. You give it a try. You know, it's, just, it's a demo. It's on WiiWare. If you're looking for a game, uh, downloadable title for the Wii, which I don't know how many people are. Is anyone? I don't know. But it's here. It's Moto Heroes. Next is Paint Splash. A lot of stuff that seems to be uh, to be locked. There's splash mode. I don't know what that is. So we only have access to paint mode. And the credits, of course. It's a lot of names for um, what appears to be this. It's a, it's a, it's a paint program. You know? I like painting, right? Let's add a little blur. A little blur right there. A little... Gonna wet that, that canvas down. There we go. And then erase something. And, uh... You know? Marker, I think that it's... That is... Spray paint. Spray paint. There we go. Got a work of art on our hands here. All this, all this art, all this art that's going on. So, uh, apparently as far as I can... Oh, I wanted the sponge. As far as I can tell, this is it. I don't see anything else here. I don't know what splash mode is because the demo doesn't let us access it. Whatever it is, um, maybe that's worth the money for this. Paint Splash. Whatever Paint Splash is. Let's see how my let's see how my uh, how precise I am with the remote. Not at all. That is terrible. That is awful. Uh, oh. Yeah. 
Yeah, that's Paint Splash. I don't, I don't see why this was released. You don't, do you really need this for the Wii? I don't know. But if you think you do, here it is. Yeah, Paint Splash. There, there you go. And uh, the third and final demo to wrap up this video, as well as apparently all of WiiWare entirely, is Fast Racing League. Another racing game, but this one's considerably different from Moto Heroes. You might notice from the title screen, the game uh, seems a little bit similar to, uh, to Wipeout, doesn't it? Looks a lot like it. You might also notice the game looks uh, pretty good for a WiiWare game. A bit better than you might expect. Alright, picking up these energy items. I can change colors, so... It incorporates in sort of an Ikaruga-like color-changing system between black and white. Excellent. Changing colors allows us to get boosts from the corresponding pads. Excellent. Controls feel pretty good. Now, I should mention that, uh... Oh, yeah, so we use those energy items to get a boost without needing those pads. Now, I should mention that the uh, the way the game is controlled is with a sideways Wiimote, or you can actually use the classic controller, which is what I'm using now. Which is nice, because I bought one, and I never really have the chance to use it for anything. And I like it more with the classic controller. Uh, using the analog sticks, I think that feels nicer. Oh, uh-oh. Oh, I failed the tutorial. Aren't I good at this? So if you do want to play this game, I would suggest perhaps, uh, perhaps using the classic controller instead of the remote, because I prefer it anyway. Alright, so we finished the tutorial. There are three leagues, only one is unlocked, however, and only one level from that league. So that's the, um, that's the ship we were using. We have one other available to us. We can choose the color of the highlights. Let's go with red. Welcome to Cove Harbor. Three, two, one. Go! All right, we're in an actual race now, and, uh... If you thought this might have seemed a bit like Wipeout before, then you might be thinking that more so because the music in this level does make me think of something you might hear in a Wipeout game. And I'm not saying that in a bad way, because Wipeout's a pretty good game to emulate. However, a difference between this game and Wipeout is it does not seem that you're trying to attack the other racers. I haven't seen any weapons. Rather, the goal is item pickup. Collecting all of these items for the purpose of being able to boost, as well as preventing your opponents from being able to boost whenever they want. And also having the awareness to know when to change colors to take advantage of what's coming up on the track. Because if we hit one of those boosts as an opposite color, it would slow us down. The game does look really good, doesn't it? moves really fast. It seems to be at a solid uh, 60 frames, as far as I can tell. You can't see that on the video, but it does look good on my TV here. And like I said, controls feel nice. So yeah, aside from Paint Splash, the quality of uh, the downloadable titles on... downloadable demos on WiiWare. Moto Heroes and, and Fast are actually higher than I expected. 
quite good, really. So yeah, the demo for Fast is pretty short. It's just that one race. Three laps. Uh, again, this one looks like local multiplayer. Does not look like it has online play. But, it was fun. I don't know if that's something that I would end up buying. If I had some Wii points, you know, maybe I would buy it, but, uh, you know, like, I never actually bought anything on WiiWare before. But this, this, as well as Moto Heroes, do seem like things worth trying out. Uh, so, I'm, you know, I don't really know what else to say. It doesn't see, I was surprised it's, there being so few demos on WiiWare. I thought there would surely be something else besides these. But, uh... Yeah, I... And one of them, pl Paint Splash, why was that even there? Why even release a demo of that? Did anyone actually be get motivated to buy the game after playing that demo? Maybe, I don't know. Maybe someone thought, thought it would be good for little kids, I don't know. Maybe. But you can pretty much do the same thing on... On your computer, so... But now you can do it with the Wamote, I guess. But anyway, Fast Racing League, Moto Heroes... Good games, I like them. And, uh... That's... <laughs> there's nothing else. There's nothing else. No other demos. Maybe there, maybe there will be demos. More demos on WiiWare in the future. I kinda doubt it. Since... Things are gearing up for the Wii U, but... If there are... Hey, maybe I'll take a look at them. But, uh, yeah, that's it for WiiWare. All three, all three demos. 